I just want to just want to confirm with you that the audio is clear this time using you as a test. Ah, uh, okay. She's still she on. Oh, she's on. She's on. Yes, I admitted all of them. Okay. Well, that's all right. Let's just proceed then. I would imagine we could test it, you know, ask for feedback later. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, with regard to this week, this past week on Snowstorm, no accidents, no injuries, all went well. Um, I'm working with the police department and the traffic bureau right now. We have the signboards that were purchased late last year. We're assembling them, getting ready to install them. Um, last night's weather was kind of fairly loud and windy, but uh, we fared very well. I have any reports of any damage or any flooding or anything like that. We had a small tree down in the south end of town and an issue on the highway that was DOTs. Um, with that, the 24, 2024 recycling calendar has been handed out. Um, there are extra copies of Pearl Hall in case anybody needs one, but everything was handed out by public yeah. staff. That's about it, Mayor. Okay. Yes. Uh, since we don't have the gardeners anymore, okay, they left for winter. Uh, the storm mm -hmm. sent out a lot of shrubs from the trees yep. all over the streets. Yep. You know, uh, who's cleaning them? We are. That could be put curbside, and we pick it up once. Rather than the regular Monday Tuesday schedule that we do in the spring, we make a pass every week through town. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we'll just put them curbside, and we'll grab everything. Okay. Christmas trees, every all the vegetation. Okay. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. Anybody? Any question? Okay. Uh, Mr. Naval, I noticed on, uh, and, and maybe Chief, you can elaborate, I noticed on 9W North on my way to work this morning, there is seems to be a clogged catch basin on the right-hand side. I see the Chief nodding, um, and I saw some equipment there. Yeah. So hopefully that will, I'm glad to see that there was um, a warning there because okay. that could have Come caused on that bend and, accidents. Yeah. yeah. So so uh, do you know anything about that's that? A, there's a drainage issue there. There's a DOT. They are aware of it, but that's, oh, that's the highway. So and that is the DOT. 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 Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Good. All right. Good. 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 I'll say, don't water down. Down. Really comes up to right. I actually, Councilman, wanted to take a picture of that. And that's something that, you know, I right. reached out to um, the Palisades Interstate Park Commission. Sure. Their first meeting is in February. Okay. And I will distribute that with my council colleagues, and hopefully we can bring up that issue and right. other issues and see if we can come with it to a good uh, resolution. Good Thank you. Right. Yes. Request, I have a couple of neighbors, including probably myself, as a okay. as a request that you ask your drivers during the snow, okay. please slow down. Slow down, okay. And so and my neighbors were a little... Um, Blustered, okay, for lack of a better term, that they come down the road in excessive rate of speed and blast the snow okay. about 12 feet up into my yard. And you know, that snow that gets sure. pushed from the road, right, is like 10 times bigger than the snow right. in my yard, correct. Now, if I can't throw the snow into the road, they really shouldn't be thrown into mm -hmm. my yard, okay. And the question really, I mean. Uh, I mean, you guys do a great job. Thank it's very you. Great, but I, I, it's very frustrating. Understood. There's obviously a need for them to be going at that speed. Okay. They, they should be pushing the snow to the side. Uh, the know, curve line. Especially like this past week. I mean, right. when you're expecting 10 inches. Right. I understand you might have to get it off the side of the road. But harass that stuff at the speed sure. that they're going. And then I'm getting all I'm having a heart attack no. trying to lift that crap at the end of my drive. So, it, no, respectfully. It, it, Oh, certainly no does. And they should be going, you know, the speed limit. Right. There's no reason to be going as fast as they're going. So, uh, if you point, please, just not a problem. I'll pass it over. that because, you know, for one, and also on 9W, I know they're not running the pickup truck. We may be going very fast. And mm -hmm. we can see that. Yeah. It's a bad book. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not a problem. Make a change. Thank you. Okay. Anyone in this moment? Question? Yes. Uh, um, did we get any reports of uh, basement flooding? I'm sure we did. Uh, no. I didn't hear anything to, uh, from last night. Yes. No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, get, I didn't get calls on anything. I, I did um, on Thursday, on uh, Monday night, I spoke with the mayor of Tenafly. Okay. And it's interesting what they're doing there mm -hmm. because they have a epidemic of uh, below grade garages. 
and I believe they're going to be modifying their ordinances. And again, this is not our, in our purview, but I found it interesting and I will share it that um, some of the garages, uh, they can now um, eliminate as garages mm -hmm. and make them, you know, uh, basically, basically part of the basement right. and then find another alternative uh, spot. And I know we're in the same boat. We have a lot of houses in town that are, um, you know, with garages that are unfortunately below grade. So um, it's nice to hear that there are some possible solutions. Uh, so, uh, and it, it is a problem that is not, I believe, going to get better. So anything that we can do proactively as a municipality, thinking out of the box, would be, I think, advantageous to 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 our residents. Um, I've read about rain gardens. Um, I, I don't know, you know, I, I, again, it's my, blame it on my inexperience, but, you know, in certain key spots, I know at the end, at the rear of a lot of the corporate headquarters, there are um, a lot of places where the water accumulates and, it, and it, then it just flows down. So I would hope that in the future that we can explore some a little bit out of the box thinking and environmentally um, uh, advantageous methods that we can address this. And uh, so, because it, 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 as I said, it's not going to get any better. Yeah. Well, thanks. Thank you very uh, much. Uh, well, thank you. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I just yeah. Oh, sorry. I did, I did. Okay. You chose to do it by hand delivery. Yes. Yes. Um, I wasn't in agreement with that last year, but so okay. be it. Has it been put up on the website? Yes. It has been. Um I think that we should be able to follow up so people are more aware okay. of what the schedule is. Uh, maybe send something out constant contact. Okay. Um, if that works. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you one more time. I just contacted it early in the morning around the six o'clock to uh, EPW head, and he did a great job and cleaned every you know, uh, drop the trees and removed it over there. And then, you know, really you are working very hard, and I appreciate. It. Thank, you. Thank you. And the next uh, police chief, Mr. Hankelman. Everybody. Good evening. Uh, Mr. Mayor, okay, thank you. Approach? Yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Thank that's you. Yes. <laughs> and good evening, everybody. Happy New Year. I apologize for my tardiness. I was uh, not aware of the new earlier thank start you. time. So uh, I, I apologize. Note that for next month. Um, the start. Uh, yesterday was uh, National Law Enforcement Appreci Appreciation Day. Um, I'd like to uh, recognize my officers and all of the police officers uh, across the country. Um, in my opinion, it takes a very special person to dedicate their life to service. Uh, and I'd like to recognize my officers for the great job they do every day. Um, since the last council meeting, uh, we did have a few burglaries in town. Uh, from time to time, this uh, does uh, crop up, uh, especially during the holiday season when houses tend to be empty and there's more valuables in houses. Um, that is our, our burglary season, if you will. Um, and we did have a, a couple, unfortunately. Um, we're not popping champagne yet, but we are following up on a few uh, very good leads. Uh, the Detective Bureau is working on that. On December 19th, uh, we had a, another CPR save at a local restaurant. Uh, four of our officers, um, uh, an elderly ge gentleman, uh, well into his 80s, uh, was choking on some food. Uh, as a result of choking, when it's cardiac arrest, our officers responded, uh, were able to remove the obstruction, form CPR. And I'm happy to report that uh, at last check, the elderly gentleman is uh, doing well and recovering. Um, in the, it, perhaps maybe next month we can get a, another proclamation and get those officers recognized. Uh, I did uh, receive a complaint of speeding on Dillingham. 
Um, as the superintendent uh, mentioned, we are in the process of assembling the speed signs that we purchased. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I'll have uh, my officers give the area extra attention. Um, the substation project and uh, road work is ongoing, as you all know, and uh, that'll be for the foreseeable future. We continue to coordinate with the schools uh, so that the bus routes and pickups uh, are uh, impacted as little as, as possible. Uh, the toy drive last month for Christmas was a uh, big success. Uh, thank you to everybody who uh, supported and contributed to the toy drive. And uh, I uh, met with the new administrator already uh, earlier this week. And uh, we have another meeting scheduled for next Friday uh, so that we can work on a few uh, open items um, from last year. And that's the end of my report. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, okay. Anybody has any question? Yeah, okay. go ahead. Well, for uh, as being yesterday, National Police or Police Day. Um, also, I think, yes, we should. I would recommend that we do the proclamation again to recognize the officers. I don't know if you want to share with us now, or but um, well, I think we could definitely do that, and we will. And uh, my last request is I know that you have uh, historically disseminated an email to the mayor and the chairman of the Public Safety Committee. And I would like to request that you please inform all the council members. I think we're just as equally, um, we should be equally informed. I know that there's a concern about disseminating some information and as elected officials, if we choose, or if someone chooses to violate that, shame on them. But I think that um, I'm requesting that you see, especially now that we don't have any committee, um, and even when we do, I think that we're all equally as important to have the knowledge, but there's nothing worse, there's no worse feeling than someone who has had their house broken into and then coming up to you and saying, oh, you know, my house is broken into, and you're looking there and don't have a clue. I I, would just I I don't have an issue with that. Um, it, 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 it's it's no it's norm, no more work for me to add a few people to an email. Uh, as you mentioned, historically, I've always notified the mayor and uh, the chair of of what what I would call significant uh, incidents. Um, early in my tenure as chief, I was cautioned about sending emails to. Uh, the entire council, uh, Mr. Uh, Borough Attorney, if you can opine on uh, yeah, violation it's, of sunshine. It, it's, so, it's okay to send emails to the entire governing body. I mean, as a general matter, what you can't do is, let's say, ask a question that says, would the governing body like us to institute this policy? Okay. And then the governing body starts communicating by email and debating it. Okay. But an F informational, this event's going on. You can send uh, to everybody. Uh, uh, you should be aware that this occurred. You can send everybody. Un understood. Like I said, there's uh, no more work for me to add a couple more names. To excuse me, then I have a question. What about the, you send a, actually Mr. James Tracy yesterday afternoon sent out to me to get my approval. So I reviewed about the, you know, contents. And we need the, also, this is a very important to get the reimbursement from FEMA in case we got the damage. Right, in the that's, future, that's, that's, so you know, I just immediately gave order to do that. Yeah, that's so I don't know who all six people have to agree or who can give the authority uh, that, to send out. That's under uh, the Office of Emergency Management, uh, which Lieutenant Tracy is a part of, with yeah. uh, George Drummonds and uh, retired Captain Tim Regan. Uh, that's OEM. That is separate from the police department. Although Lieutenant Tracy works for the police department. Uh, what he did yesterday in that capacity was under OEM. Yeah. yeah. So that, that's not from the police department. Oh, uh, okay. So, well, who, okay, I'm sorry. I want to clear up this one. In case of this one, I have to give authority. They, they can do themselves. Who's going to finally give authority to do, to send out well, this letter? We, we sent a letter. I think what, at the end of the day, when it comes to general authority for, you know, matters, right? the chief of police is in charge unilaterally of all police operational matters. None of the governing officials can interfere with how police operations are run. 
uh, when it comes to actually responding to a, to a call or how do they do police duties. When it comes to um, management of the day-to-day -day operations, the, the mayor at the office of mayor is able to, and also with the administrator, to manage the day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, you have an issue with uh, employee access to the building, car machines aren't working, the administrator would handle it, the mayor might give direction on something like that. But when it comes to broad policy issues, then the governing body as a whole would have to vote on that stuff. I think what Councilman uh, Luciano is raising is just from an informational standpoint, not looking for decision, he's uh, not talking about decision making, but talking about if there's a significant police issue, mm -hmm. a couple you know, house break-ins, which are out of the ordinary and more significant, wanting to understand how that information will get disseminated to the governing body so that everyone's aware of it. Um, and I guess historically it had been sent to the mayor and then the head of the police committee. Right now we don't have a police committee. So I think the councilman is asking that it just be sent to everybody. Um, yeah. Can I just offer a little clarity? Um, so I, I think what the mayor was referring to yesterday, uh, something went out from OEM before the storm, um, as I understand it from uh, Lieutenant Tracy, only because I work with them every day. Um, uh, in order to facilitate any uh, potential reimbursement from FEMA uh, before the storm, uh, they have to take certain measures to facilitate reimbursement should there be damage in town. And part of that is make notification to the borough to make them aware of the impending storm. So right. uh, Tra uh, Lieutenant Tracy had uh, drafted a uh, you know a storm warning for all intents right. purposes. And I think he sent it to the mayor uh, either to proofread or to just ask for permission. You know, can we send this out to the to the town? Um, right. I'm tired of Correct. Well, right. Uh, OEM operates no, completely no. independently of the police. Yeah. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I don't, I, from what I'm understanding that you just said, and I agree, I wasn't meaning that we shouldn't keep making decisions. Please don't, that's not what I'm saying. I agree that, you know, with things like that, you're the mayor. You know what I mean? It has to come through you. The mayor has to authorize it. But as as our counselor has, has, has stated clearly, is I'm just talking about in a general sense that if there's a break, if there's a break, Police you know, if, if, if the police, I hate being you know, someone's injured, uh, the house has been broken, just inform them. If something that's only going to you and the chair of the police committee, and even if you had a committee, I'm just saying I think we're all equally should be informed. I'm not talking about the issue that you're raising that Lieutenant Tracy sent you something for OEM, and you're, I'm not challenging that. I'm not, I'm not even suggesting. I think that was, that's the proper procedure to come to you and because you're the mayor. But I think that it shouldn't be exclusive to just the mayor or whoever the police committee had. Like I said, I had a resident that was broken into that I had a conversation with and asked me if they knew that it was broken into and I had no clue. There's nothing more embarrassing as an elected official to sit there and try to talk to a resident and say, oh no, I didn't know there was breaking in your home. So all I'm saying on that form, like, like um, Mr. Mentioned mentioned is, I think that as a chair that clearly the chief has mentioned as well. Nothing to add. I, I think previous mayor might have been, you know, what he want us all to know things. So he only wanted to come to him. So I mean, I'm just requesting, and I think everyone on this council should be in agreement that we all should be equally informed. That's all. I, that's all. Oh, I okay. Have. I I agree. I agree. Okay. Uh, cool. Just just to uh, be clear, so that just to keep your expectations realistic, after five years of experience, I generally notified the mayor and the and the committee chair of burglaries, uh, perhaps a, a fatal motor vehicle crash, a house fire, something of significance that I think you need to be aware of. Um, I, I don't send out emails every time a car is stolen or every time somebody skins a knee, uh, you know, jogging on a, you know, I, I just want to, I want to temper your expectations of, of what the notifications consist of. I'll, I'll temper what my request is. Okay. Using your term. I'm just saying, I don't expect you to inform us of every little thing that I, I'm just saying. What, what, 
done in the past that you only notified the absolutely bank and the police chair is that you include us all. Whatever absolutely, that is. I will. Whether it's, you know, a cat stuck in a tree. If you sent out letters, if you sent out emails to the mayor and the, and the person in charge of the committee about cats, it was understood. Understood. My understood. My criteria will remain the same, and I'll just I'll add on everybody else. No, not a problem. Thanks. Yes. 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 As head of the committee, in the year that I sat with you there, you sent out emails. And one was very recent. And the other was in that horrific accident that happened on 9W. So it's not for your lack of transparency. No, no I, have, just I, it. I have nothing to hide. Are you getting more than two steps? Please don't make me. No, this one is from my yeah. school. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, I, I have no problem with transparency. I think. I think information sharing is uh, 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 very important. Thank you. Yep. Anybody else? Yes. Yes, sir. Um, budget process is starting. Um, I always think technology and uh, safety. And so, um, you know, if you have items, uh, I, I think that, you know, council would be remiss to, to, uh, not support any technology items that you might have, such as additional cameras here and there, those license plate readers that you had made mention of, and any other any other um, items that would help to keep the residents safe and uh, your your force uh, kind of. I'll request them again. You've requested them in the past. Every year. Okay. Good. Well, wonderful. Okay, so I look forward to seeing seeing them this year. Not a problem. Okay, great. Thanks, Chief. Yes, you're welcome. Any further question? No? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, one thing I want to add on. Uh, yesterday, all day long, uh, our councilman, Mr. David D. Gregorio, did a great job for to install this June video system. I final minute I did the test uh, with him. The sound is very clear and uh, the screen quality also excellent. So I really appreciate your you know volunteer job. No, I, I unfortunately we don't have a fund to pay for you. No 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 it, you, you you paid for this was Tech Media. That was the company that came in to do the installation. But, uh, you did the, and I them. made sure yeah. that, uh, you know, it's always good if you have people doing work, that someone that has a little bit of knowledge about it is present to make sure the work is done properly. I am just waiting for Mrs. O'Shea's judgment. She's here. I know she is, but when, she, when it's time for public comment, she will either give a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the audio because I know that she was the one who has uh, uh, been very vocal about the terrible audio. And I agree with Mrs. O'Shea, there's nothing worse than terrible audio. And I'm glad that the, the um, Mr. Park, uh, Mayor Park, that the borough supported this resolution uh, and the council supported this resolution to finally get the audio done. I tried to patch it together as best I can could for the meantime. But now we've got, I think, excellent video, excellent audio, and um, the all of the people uh, that are that may find it difficult to come to the borough uh, administration or the uh, council chambers can participate. And I think that uh, fosters true democracy. So okay. thank you for once your again. Thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next item is uh, yeah. Okay, uh, approval of minutes? I don't have any. We don't have any? No. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to open to the public uh, comment. Please be aware of the, we have a five minute uh, limit rule. And uh, anybody want to talk about it, please state your name and address and then come out. And uh, you can talk to you freely for five minutes. Oh, we need motion. So I'm sorry. yeah, motion to oh, open motion to the to, public. I'm so sorry. I'm still learning cover. I'm sorry. Motion to open to the public. We need a second. Wait a second. Okay, second. All favor? Yes. Aye. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. Come here soon. Can I take a seat? Yeah, okay. Why not? Okay, you need to take a, a micro. Oh, um, Mr. Sifan, the other microphone on the table, oh, okay. all okay. you have to do is turn it on and it will pick you up. Yeah, looks like it might be on. It might be on? Yeah, I think I, I, I think it's on. Just talk into it. It's on. It's on. Good. Here's your Christmas squad. So we need to name an address for the record, please. David C. Vaughn, 129 Hollywood Avenue. And here's your family. Well, and I'd like you to read this to the public council before we start. Uh, why don't we just have it entered into the record? Yeah. yeah. Just to be clear, this this is public comment time. You can speak for five minutes. None of the council members are required to respond, participate, answer questions, or anything else. And right now, you're 31 seconds into your time. You're just uh, kidding, please. It's it, it, not really a record. I mean, okay. So you're down to four minutes. Yeah. I want to ask you a couple questions, Mr. DeGloria. Have you ever owned your own business? Have you ever been in business for yourself? Just remind you, this is a public comment standpoint. Yeah. So, I'll ask you to continue, and then when you're finished, if I so desire, I will answer. Keep on going. Have you ever been a member of a chamber of commerce or held any type of licenses in the state of New Jersey? You know what it's like. Have employees working for you? If you had a business, but you just can't answer because you're so lost, and you've known what you've done in this town, and to me just as well. Okay, and there's a song that's been made many, many years ago, and it's called "When Fools Rush In." And I rushed in for you. I rushed in for you. And I went out and I counted down those signs, those campaign sounds. And what you did to Mrs. Stern, Bernie, Al Wunsch, and keep continuing with your behavior, okay? You sold your soul down the river. That's what you did. You sold your soul down the river, especially what you did to Mrs. Stern, okay? You can go all over the United States of America and try to replace her, okay? It's not happening. It's not happening. At one time, many years ago, I had a guy that was one of my foremen, and he says, Dave, you got gold here. And I really didn't know what that meant because I was in my 20s. And I finally met, I finally knew what the guy really got to say because the employee's performance was just so incredible. And you know something? You sold your soul. That's exactly what you did. And you lost my friendship. I can't have this drink with you. I don't want you this. I don't want you cards. I don't want nothing. Okay? I just wanted to make this very brief. Okay? That you killed me when you got rid of Mr. Stern. You killed me. Okay? And it'll be something that'll leave me for the rest of my life. 
full ahead of time. You knew how to hurt me, but God is watching. I rest assure you, God is watching. God is watching every day of the week what you've done. Can I have my daughter? Can I have my daughter? God is watching. Trust me on that. Okay. Next, anyone? Come on. Okay, come on. If it weren't so disturbing, it would actually be funny. Mark Clark and company, first big accomplishment was replacing a woman with two men for a great deal more money. Neither of whom live anywhere near Angler Cliffs, couldn't care less about Angler Cliffs, only the money they were being paid. It's a bit pathetic. And his protagonist, as it happens, David D. Gregorio, just as pathetic. I'm shocked, I'm dismayed that the Geigers have not expressed their outrage at the flagrant abuse of the borough taxpayers' money. By the way, process, you didn't get that right either. When I met with Mark Park, he expressed that he really wasn't sure about the mayor. He was right. He was right about that, actually. A mayor is supposed to be a leader, not a puppet. As a longtime resident, I think with this, longer than almost every one of you, except maybe one, I thought that 2024 was going to be a really good year, and apparently it is not to be continued. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, come on. Okay, your name and address, please. I'm Martin Geiger. And I live at 270 Alfred Street. Thank you. I want to call your attention to one of the resolutions you have before you tonight, 2460. And I feel that it is legally insufficient and once again, inappropriate for the council to consider it for the following reason. It's authorizing a cash management plan. As the borough attorney is well aware, I mean, cash management plan is required by the statute that's referenced in this resolution and as an annual plan it has to be set forth in detail this resolution simply says it's adopting a cash man management plan that's sort of been continued from previous years well i have oprahed several times the borough clerk and no one seems to have a copy of any cash management plan I think Ms. Borges will confirm that. There is no record. So I think it behooves the council to adopt a cash management plan. And by way of example, you can look at a resolution that was adopted on January 4th, 2021 by, the, by Bridgewater itself. And it's right on Google. You can Google it. It's an eight page plan. Uh, you can find them for Englewood, for Bergenfield, this has been going on, it's not your fault, this has been going on for years and years in this town that this type of resolution is adopted and no one has a plan. It's particularly important because we have talked about interest rates and depository banks and so forth and, and the duties of the chief financial officer. New Jersey statute, I don't have to tell you, sir, sets forth the requirements, a monthly reporting requirement the chief fiscal officer. We didn't need the special resolution that was adopted in December. State law requires it. So I would respectfully ask that you table this resolution and direct the appropriate individuals, perhaps the financial advisor, the auditor, or even counsel, to provide you with a cash management plan that you can review and consider for adoption at the appropriate time. I would also like to ask once again, as I have for the last four or five monthly meetings. What is the status of the park improvement plans? I'm told that there are two bills on the list this evening to pay Boswell for work that they've done in the park, but I would uh, 
wonder why you'd be paying them anything if they haven't completed the work, which they first said they were going to complete in October, and then they were going to complete it by December. And unless I have not been properly informed, the work has still not been done, and it's very puzzling, very troubling. So I thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anyone else? Mrs. Okay, Mr. Kerngai. Okay, you can come on now. Okay, please come on. Uh, I recognize you. Okay. Hello, Karen Geiger, 270 Alfred. Um, a few comments. I'm going to continue on on the park. Um, at the last meeting, a parks committee was set up. The parks committee is anxious to start working um, on making sure that a park, as approved by the council, um, is implemented and is available to our residents and to our children. Um, to do that, we need to see uh, something we've been waiting for for a long time, which is the detailed specifications of the park that was to be done by Boswell, as well as the uh, preliminary bid specs. Uh, it was my understanding that those specs should have already been out to bid, but I am not aware of anyone who has seen a copy of a detailed design. There is no intent, as far as I know, of anyone on the park committee to redesign a park to rethink anything unless it is brought to our attention that something in the old plan presents a problem with public safety. Um, we want to move expeditiously. We understand that Boswell is under contract to provide us with the detailed specifications, and we would like to see them to make sure that those specifications conform with what this council and the prior council approved. Um, Ms. Sabari and I are in agreement on this item as is um, uh, Billy. Um, another item is that is a concern to me is the $700,000 deficit that came to light uh, last, month, last month or two months ago. Um, for some reason, the administration did not put forward a bond ordinance that was required to pave streets. And in, I believe it was May of 2023, a resolution was passed by this council approving $1.1 million worth of expenditures for the road improvements. These improvements were undertaken and completed by a contractor, according to what was put before this council, and yet there's no money to pay them because no one did the required check to make sure that money was available. It is not. And as I think we heard, you cannot go backwards and use outstanding bond money to pay for something that has been done that is not included in that bond appropriation without the specific concurrence of the council and without checking with bond council that that is a proper use of bond funds. Um, I would suggest that this council do that. I also would suggest that as far as the park is concerned, that bond council be contacted to find out if a new resolution is required because the way in which this particular um, park plan was developed is very different from the one that was developed by the prior council two years ago. And clarification is needed from bond council whether an amendment, a new whether an amendment is required, a new resolution is required, or the old one is in place. And we need that to make sure we don't slow up the process that we are all desirous of attaining. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Anybody else? This is she has only... Okay, Ms. Sose. Okay, go ahead. Ms. Sose? 
Yes, you thank you, Mayor Park. Uh, Mary O'Shea, 12 Irving Avenue. Um, I tried to start to get into the meeting tonight before 6.30, but I did not get it entered into the meeting till after a quarter to seven. So by the time I was allowed in the meeting, um, Mark Neville was speaking to the council. So I missed your address, Mayor Park, uh, number five, and I missed the appointment of council president number six. So I was wondering if, if Mr. Yeah, Munch would is, allow you- That item is uh, tabled. So I mean, tabled for the next month. So don't worry about it. Mayor. Mayor, yeah, okay. Mayor. First one, you're going to explain? Yeah. Okay. If you would allow me mm -hmm. uh, to. Yeah. Uh, if this is, this is O'Shea. There was a little miscommunication. I had mentioned to Ms. Borchers earlier today that everything is all set in the council chambers. And I had set up uh, when the uh, audio, when the when um, we were installing the audio, uh, a, a Zoom conference. So she misunderstood and thought that the Zoom meeting that was currently going on was the actual Zoom meeting for this evening. And then I believe it was Councilman Luciano that kindly pointed out that maybe that's not so. We double checked, but as the mayor had mentioned, uh, those two uh, those two resolutions were tabled. So I don't want to insult anyone, but you didn't miss much in the beginning of the meeting. Nothing much happened. Okay, because so, I was concerned. I was concerned okay. that I missed important stuff. Yeah. So I, I uh, yeah. So and so I, I just think that um, it, I want to ask you also. I had you know, wanted to reach out to you in the beginning of the meeting. How is the audio this time? Oh, night and day. Night and day. Much better. Much okay, better. Um, the Make only thing is I would uh, request that the council members speak into the microphones when they're talking and not turn to face the attorney or the mayor, uh, that they're not speaking into the microphone. And I would request Mr. Luciano to sit into the table because he's out of the picture. He's sitting back too far, that he's away from the microphone and I can't see him. I don't wanna not miss him. Okay. Um, I also would like to uh, comment on um, the storm drains. And <clears throat> today, um, my husband and I had to go to uh, therapy on Palisade Avenue. So I went up Irving Avenue Cross Summit Street, on the Van Nostren, Cross Hickory, Middlesex, Castle Drive, Summit. And all along the way, I was disturbed that I saw so many of the catch basins backed up with debris from the storm. Naturally, with the force of the water, it pushed everything down um, in the, the hills and the valleys but it landed on the storm drains and a lot of them are very full of debris on the top. And with future storms coming Friday, I would hope that the DPW would send a man out in a truck. And I know these guys see this stuff. They were out picking up recycling today. So they, they have to have their eyes open that they see these storm drains are piled up with sticks and leaves. So I hope they go out and clean them, clean them off. And in lieu of that, if you could send out a constant contact to residents and say, if you have a storm drain near the front of your property, please check it and pick up any leaves that are on top of the grate so that the water can go in the drains. Every citizen can contribute to making that uh, little bit of uh, assistance meaningful for people not to get water. Um, also, um, I would like to uh, ask that the new um, administrator follow up on uh, a grant that uh, Mrs. Stern had applied for from uh, community development funds for the senior citizens, various things she put in for us, which was very, uh, very farsighted for her to do and um, things that we really need. And as far as her being terminated, unfortunately, I've seen this happen many times in Englewood Cliffs. Although I feel sorry for Mrs. Stern, um, 
and she's a very capable woman. It happened to Mrs. McMorrow. She was a very capable woman. And it happened to uh, another guy um, from, who had been the mayor of Franklin Lakes, Bavario, or something. He was also terminated at a reorganization meeting. So it seems to be Englewood Cliffs has a habit of uh, terminating administrators. So I'm sorry, Mrs. Stern, that that happened to you because um, you are doing a very good job. Um, and that's it. That's all I have to, to say today. And the sound is much better. So, okay. Mr. Councilman Luciano, sit in and speak into the mic. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, okay. Mrs. O'Shea. Yes. Um, thank you. Um, you know, I noticed immediately this morning that the catch basin in front of my house was filled with leaves uh, as a result of night's uh, uh, last night's storm. And I think that it was, it's very nice of you to remind residents to to clean them. I will do it as soon as I get home. Um, and I think that, you know, if we all can work together um, and if residents have the opportunity to clean those storm drains, that's an excellent suggestion. Thank you. Mobile librarian, which is okay. Okay, no one, no one hearing. No one one should... Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Ms. Tersa. Okay, yes, Mr. Tersa, your turn. Five minutes, please. please. Hello, uh, congratulations, um, uh, the mayor and the new council persons. I just want to say the sound is terrific on my end. Uh, it particularly uh, the main microphone that the uh, that the residents speak on onto, it's perfect. And that's all I really wanted to say tonight. Are you able to hear me? Yes. Yes. Loud and okay. clear. Thank you. Good. Good job. Okay. Good night. No one online? Okay. Motion, Motion to close. close. Second. Okay. Motion to close. Okay. Next item is oh, all in favor. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, now, okay. Appointment. So professional appointment. Okay. I already sent out the professional appointment and uh, I probably every a uh, council member, Gary, I'm sorry about the uh, late, about the uh, 2.30 or 3, around the 3 o'clock. Uh, still, I you know, figured out a lot of uh, you know, information and then that's why a little bit late. Please understand me. So I'm going to uh, nominate. I think you jump in on step number 11. Number 11? Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, yeah, I This is your part of oh, the Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I have I, I'm sorry, go back to the number 11, okay? Yeah. Second copy, I give you the copy. Yeah, I, I have Where is the number? Is it the No, I'm going to come here. I just left it. I'll speak, I'll speak. Okay, I'm sorry. Number 10, uh, council review and the discussion. Any matters we're going to discuss about it? Yeah, number 10, I don't. So so to, to do something, just for the council, you know, to, to throw out something. Um, there are a lot of items that we table it, okay? Uh, I feel that there is no track on them. And maybe later on, they're gonna come up and we lost them in the shuffle. So if anybody has an idea to, to put a system for all the items that we're tabling, and maybe they should come up constantly and we should look at them. Maybe we wanna bring them back up, maybe not. Uh, I feel we have no control on them. Just table and it goes there. And it's just a few people, if you have any idea how we can uh, follow up on that. I think that's okay. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. The auspices of the borough attorney, the borough clerk. Okay, I don't know where it is. I'm going oh, no, that, that, and I, and I, 
Yeah, and I think where I would start. Okay, but you do agree that we should follow up on them. Absolutely. Number one. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, okay. I agree. So maybe um, we can just uh, keep a running list of all the tabled items. And the dates. And the dates, yeah, exactly. And I, I mean, I, I certainly am glad to do that, you know, I'll start, but I think it is the, you know, it's the borough clerk and the, yeah, and the attorney. Does, uh, yeah, does um, Ms. Borchers have a suggestion? Yeah, I mean, I mean, generally, we can, we can track them. Um, I mean, hopefully there won't be a ton of them and some of them everyone knows and they'll come back up, but we can certainly after every meeting, if there's items that were tabled, uh, we can have, I can work with Laura on a process that says any tabled items are put on the agenda, you know, as a, as a placeholder for the next agenda meeting to talk about, or people can remind what's there. Um, and that way, if they want to be brought back up again, um, not to get into the nuances of Robert's rules, there's actually differences between certain types of tabling. I know Council Luciano is probably aware. There's some types of boats where you actually people use tabling as a general just push it off there's actually a nuances of when you're pushing it off to a date certain versus just tabling it indefinitely it's different terms of art but uh answer the question though we can we can track it and keep a list so that way you remember what was tabled at the last meeting for this meeting and then if somebody wants to bring it off the table to rediscuss it it can get back on okay anyone that has any other Question yeah. items? Okay, yes. Well, council members. What is this one? This is what it starts at the top. Screams without words. How Hamas weaponized sexual violence on October 7th. Well, that's my timer. My five minute timer. This is eligible. Anyway, um, we made a motion last year. So I'm going to read just a short part. Of it. The first thing is known simply as the woman in the black dress. In a rainy video, you see her lying on her back, dress horns, legs sprayed, the dining stores, her face is buried beyond recognition, and her right hand covers her eyes. The video was shot in early October 8th by a woman searching for a missing friend at the site of the raid in southern Israel, where the day before Hamas terrorists massacred hundreds of young Israelis. I would we this information that has come out is just shows the barbarism that took place on this day. And we passed a resolution last year on this information that comes out. What the sexual abuse and the rape that they have committed against these poor women, these poor Israeli women, not only at a concert trying to enjoy their life, but breaking into their homes, mutilate sexually mutilating them and i'd like to make a resolution that we all stand against and against the atrocities not only against them but so this is this is atrocities against humanity mm -hmm. okay it's not select to the israeli but it was perpetrated against the israeli and anybody who reads this it could make me want to cry and throw up at the same time so I think I would like to make a motion to condemn the actions that Hamas took on October 7th against the people of Israel, especially the women. And I think it's a disgrace that we didn't have it uniformly uh, voted on in the affirmative the last time that we made this motion. So I'd make a motion Mm -hmm. to uh, condemn the actions of Hamas on October 7th and the crimes against humanity that took place on that day. I would yeah. gladly second that. Okay, one. second. So, okay. Thank you, Glenn, for bringing it up. Well, this article appeared recently in the New York Times. If anybody, if anybody would like to see this here, I mean, I have my thoughts already. But I gave it to all the council members. Um, if you just, I mean, I don't even, in all honesty, with all the news that's taking place, I don't even think you need to read it. But when you do read it, it it's shocking. Shocking beyond belief. They rape women to death. Yes. So, okay. I'm going to take a step further and post it for a while on our website, the town website, to show that we are condemning it 
well, we need to vote on the resolution. Oh, okay. Sorry. Can you okay. I mean, I, I apologize for um not conferring with you to have a written. You know how hey. you know how fond I am about being ambushed yeah. about more than resolution, but I think this is something so, that recently came to light to me, hey. and um, but, I just I didn't want to wait. And I apologize for not having a, to everyone for not having a written resolution. It's, it's okay if if you want just a suggestion. There's a motion a second tonight. If you vote in favor of it, what you could do is vote in favor, uh, you know, essentially, you know, vote in favor of your motion. And as part of that, you know, you can direct our office to, you know, prepare a formal written resolution that you can then adopt at the next meeting. Again, it's two votes, but at least that way you have that all the nice whereas languages. And, I, and my motion's amendable. I'll amend my motion as long as my second, which I'm sure won't have an issue with it. I'll amend my motion to include that to uh, direct your office to please write the appropriate resolution in support of condemning this action. We can do that. And just for the record, for the second of my second council on assignment, second. I did agree with the motion. Thank yes. You. Yes, so both. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, we have to have discussion first, please. Okay. So, first of all, as a Great grandson of someone who died in Theresienstadt, my great grandfather, who was Jewish, as a grandson of a Jewish man who had to bring his family to the United States in 1939, as the son of a mother who had to be ripped out of her country and her comfort at a very young age. I deplore any violence. I deplore what you had just cited, Mr. Luciano, and I just deplore the contempt and the violence and the horrors that go on in this world. That said, I will not engage. I was voted as Englewood Cliffs Councilman. Okay? My job is to concentrate on this town and not get involved in international or national politics. I want nothing of it here. I just stated my position, my, uh, my background, that I have both parents that have lived through a world war that was horrendous and horrible. And I could tell you detailed stories of what happened to my ancestors and how it affected my family negatively. But the, the, the horrors of the last eight years that we had under the last mayor of putting his own personal ideology in front of the good of the people and alienating others was very counterproductive and divisive in this town. I will not engage in national or international politics. I want the leaves cleared. I want the garbage collected. I want us to be innovative. I want us to uh, become the best community and the kindest community to all people. I will not vote and I will abstain on this. Thank you. Mr. Okay. Mayor, Okay. Let me answer. Okay, I am Israeli. I was born in Israel. My parents are both Holocaust survivors. Glenn, I'm proud of you. As long I know we don't agree on a lot of issues, but this I commend you to bring it up. And I'm happy that I did not have to bring it up. Okay? Therefore, I don't agree with uh, Mario what he did the other uh, years, whatever, but this event has nothing to compare what happened in the last eight years. I'm not, I'm not comparing. Voting <clears throat> yes, and I'm proud of our council if you confess to. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm gonna just uh, give me a second no. roll. Okay, please. Okay. No, no, no more. Okay. No, you can end discussion. You can discuss what agenda? No, I have a com I have a comment still. Oh, we are in the middle of you know 
No, we didn't no, start. No, we didn't start. You had discussion. We, we studied. You had discussion. Now, discussion. Motion now it's discussion. motion and second. We didn't do that. Motion. Okay. Second. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm just going to be brief. I think it's unfortunate. I think it's despicable that you will not vote regardless of whether it's national or not. For something that constantly brings up the Germany and how they do their electricity and the state and everything else, I think it's saddening to me that you're going to sit there so stoic and say that you're not going to vote on this because it doesn't have something to do with angle and clips. I think it's disgraceful. That's all I had, Mayor. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Please, Mr. Walker, please. Watson. Member Simon? Member Luciano? Aye. Yes. Member DiGregorio? Abstain. Member Begetz? Yes. Member Liang? Yes. Mayor Passes. Okay, thank you. And thank you to those who supported it. I think it shows your true colors. Okay. okay. Again, uh, if I may, Mr. Mayor, if I may say something. Yes. Um, I see that um, this issue probably was brought up on purpose and um, with and deliberately. And I would like to say, once again, reiterate that, and I did not read the article that Mr. Luciano, Councilman Luciano brought up. It is a horror. And if, you know, and, and I would like to read it, and I trust what you're saying and about the article. And it is an absolute horror absolute horror and humanity <clears throat> humanity it is a shame that humanity is, has not gotten beyond these horrors that are happening in the world it is the most horrible thing we sit here at Englewood Cliffs high and mighty in mm -hmm. comfortable safe houses uh, and it is a horror that we have to it diminishes us to to be able to uh, to, to witness that but I said, that said, this is a borough council. We are not an international organization. We are a borough council. I have said exactly how I feel that war is, is horror. Young, young children being maimed, what you had mentioned before, raped, horror. And don't, don't take this and say that I'm agreement with this or that because that's absolutely false, absolutely false. But I will not, I will not, I will not engage uh, in, in a vote in this, uh, in, in this. I will vote for all things that have to do with our community directly. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Any, any other discussion? Yes. Yeah, okay, hold on. We as a council have the responsibility to take a stand against this behavior. And if memory serves me, you voted on a resolution to condemn Ukraine, Russian aggression into Ukraine when that happened. So if it's good for one thing, it should be good for the other. And yes, we are lucky that we can sit here. But we have a responsibility to take a stand for what we believe in. Are you, whether you do or you don't, you are entitled to abstain. But I think it's important that this council go forward and say that this kind of behavior is not acceptable anywhere, anyhow, for any reason. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And, 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 okay. and actually, uh, on the local, actually, also on the local level. Okay, uh, Okay, move on. You know, thank you. Okay, move on, please. Uh, I don't want to spend this time, uh, this item over here. Anyone else? Uh, discuss uh, other subject? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, okay, go ahead. I've seen this week that there were some times that both you and Mr. Rath was in the office. And I'd like to know how much time you spent together the past week. Wednesday, Excuse me? Yesterday, Tuesday? Whatever, since the time since the time you've been appointed, I just like to know because I'm trying to trying to figure out, you know, what the uh, impact would be on our on our uh, financial fiscal uh, ability. Oh, so he should be less. 
No, no, no. Because our assets are buildings. Well, our ability is going to be hampered when you go from 95 to 400,000. So I'm just, I can answer the question. Yes, please. Half hour yesterday and half hour on Thursday. And on Monday, it was an hour and a half. We did a department head meeting with everyone. And that's that's total. Because I thought I had an email from Mr. Ratz from you that said on one day, we were all together all day. No, okay. That's Thank incorrect. So approximately two hours together so far. Clock, you should clock. Clock? Yeah, it should be yeah. for you. Well, I don't have a clock to give you a clock. No, I'm just going to use the clock and call. That's why I'm out. No, I don't believe it is a clock. Thank you, sir. Actually, Mr. Jerry, you are working more than that in an hour. I think you are working very long time. How come you mentioned about that short time? Maybe you're just a... I think Councilman Luciano Mayor was just asking when I was here at the same time as Mr. Ress. Uh, Mr. Ress, okay. Yes. Okay, I, okay, I, oh, okay. I'm going to change it from eight hours an hour. Uh, actually, he stayed for much longer than that hour, but uh, that's why. Yeah, I, I know, absolutely, yeah. But, uh, okay, got it, I, I'm so sorry. Any subject wanted to discuss about it? No more? Then motion to close? Discussion or close? Right yeah, discussion closed. Yeah. We're done. Oh, uh, no more, okay. Okay, uh, next item is uh, a standing committee over the council. This is really, really complicated procedure. Uh, Mr. Menchi, do you have any idea for, to solve this issue? Well, under the uh, under the bylaws, as you remember, Mayor, the the last meeting you made nominations. They weren't accepted by the council. Yes. So now, under the bylaws, it goes back to the council. So the council has to vote on its committee assignments. Yeah. Uh, if if they if there's a motion to be made to vote on committee assignments, then they can do that. If there hasn't been, uh, if there's no motion, then I guess we would move on. There's no motion. Okay. okay. So, yeah, so, I, I, so, I wanna, yeah, so I, I will read about it last time. I just uh, mentioned about this one. So, you know, item by item, and I'm going to read it. And the first uh, named person is uh, the uh, chair of the each committee. So, I'm going to read about it, okay? Finals Chair Lian, member uh, Kim and uh, uh, Yegas. Which one? Finance. Finance. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Are, you, are, they, are they the same exact ones? Because I think the last time Mr. Mayor said someone should reach out and there's been no communication. So my question is, is there any changes to what no. you're proposing? No, 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 no. Okay. Yes, no change there at all. Yeah, so, you know, I'm asking about take vote. Okay. It's the move. Uh, shade, shade Committee, very important. Shade to Yes, you can uh, in front of the Shade Tree Commission. There is Mr. Kim. Kim. Oh, okay. Councilman Kim. Uh, last day, who did it? Councilman Kim? Kim, yes. It was last time was Mr. Kim. Okay. Uh, anybody worried about this position? Uh, anybody wanted this position? Yes, I, uh, uh, residents in Englewood Cliffs. This one is a councilman only can do that. Yes. Council only can do that. Council okay. member can do this. <laughs> Sherry Tree is a mayor's appointment. Uh, okay, are you sure? Yeah. Mr. Mayor. Yes, yeah, Sherry Tree is your appointment. Okay. You uh, so okay, her name is Elizabeth. Okay, yeah, Elizabeth. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put on the Elizabeth. Right. Okay, why don't you roll call? Well, there's no roll call on there. This is just, I'm not trying to be a stickler, but procedurally, there's no roll call. It's a mayoral appointment. So once you name the wrong committee, no, no, this, no, 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 no. Oh, you're, 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 the, for the standing committees. Committee. This is just shade tree. Uh, shade tree is a I think, I think the councilwoman was talking about the shade tree, but right now the mayor is asking for a vote. On on the standing committees. Okay. No, no, no. Right, right. 
right now, right now, the the you know the mayor had made nominations last time that was shot down, not approved by the council. Uh, there has been no changes to what the mayor had recommended at the last meeting. And if there is a motion made by a council member to uh, to you know accept those nominations in a second, and there's a vote, yes, then then they're good. Okay. Anyone motion? I make a motion. Okay. The second. Okay, second. Okay. Okay. Any discussion? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I believe at the last meeting when this went down, Mr. Mench had uh, suggested that we try to work together um, to come up with a solution. Um, to this very moment, there's been absolutely no discussion. And as evident by once again, there's been not one change to what was proposed. Um, I'm going to vote no, just for the mere fact for the lack of communication and uh, the, the attempted cooperation of trying to work something out um, non-adversarially. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Any comment? Okay. Go ahead. Member Kim is absent. Member Simon? No. We can got them, so I don't even know we are voting no on. So Member that? Luciano? No. no. Member Di Gregorio? Yes. Member Begets? Yes. Member Liang? Yes. Yes, a three, two. You have a list, uh, Laura, of all of these, please. Uh, yeah, okay. So Laura will give you a new committee so member name. Then. Okay. okay. I, I have it. So you can, Mr. Yes, Mayor, right? Mr. Mayor? Yes. Um, can I make the suggestion that the clerk be um, directed to distribute to all the council members what your recommendations were? Um, and um, so we can at least start somewhere for a discussion because uh, as councilwoman indicated um, and I'll concur is I don't have a real clue as to, I know you read it to us, no disrespect at all. Um, but I even made a comment at the last meeting how nothing was ever handed out to us. As a matter of fact, I see that you're all working off of a sheet that I had sent you uh, as an Excel spreadsheet and that you had just handwritten. And I see Councilwoman Baguettes has it, but um, we sure don't have it. So I'd like to ask the clerk to please put together what was suggested by the mayor, distribute it to the council, and let's see who's going to reach out and try to work a compromise because I know I've reached yeah, out and try okay, to work. I will try my best. Okay. Every single case, I don't know, I can do it or not, but I will try my best. Okay. Uh, next item is uh, okay, yeah. okay. Payment of, okay. Payment of. Vouchers, okay. Uh, motion and the second show. Yeah, okay. The payment of vouchers. Yeah. Motion and the, and the second to approve it appropriately. Yeah. Payment of vouchers. Payment of vouchers. Approve the bill list and motion to. Open. Um, Motion to review this payment of beer. We need the motion, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, okay, there'll be discussion. Yeah. Uh, David, you have, you did the motion? No. Uh, um, well, I, I can make the motion, who, sure. Okay, you have motion. And who is second? Okay. Any discussion? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you want to go first? Uh, I would say uh, we follow our public opinions advice and remove, um, for the time being, remove um, Boswell. Yes. And. Um, Councilman, where's Boswell? Here. Uh, are we doing the, uh, the bills list? No. Yes. Are we doing the Are we doing the bill list? Yes. Yes. Yeah, you should have two. You should have two. Uh... 
I'm no, looking at from David that that uh, councilman. That's what I'm asking. Well, if you make the motion and you're saying you want to remove it, what list are you removing it from? There is a uh, bill, bill list right here, and that's uh, this, bill list? No, that's yes. Are we doing the bill list now? It's cool. You made the motion. It's it's cool. To remove something, so I'm trying to figure out if you have an understanding of where it's being paid from and what you're removing. I am looking at the Borough of Anglewood Cliffs. What does it say below that? Who pays that? Who pays that? Who pays that? Correct. The, 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 the escrow items would be are not part of the bill list that you have to approve. Okay. They're 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 paid they're paid for by. I am reading you know, from that. Thank you. Right. So that that's not it. There's. Okay. Heard about it, Councilman. I'm not trying to be a smart aleck. I'm making a motion to remove something that the borough doesn't even pay. These are bills that are being paid through escrow by other people that have put up money because they have to pay the interest to review things. So you're making a motion not to pay them because you have a personal animus towards Boswell that you're being directed to take it and not pay them from someone who's directing you to take, take it and not pay. Them. These are not things in, that are being in paid. The court in the court, would you say that's leading the witness? I, I listen. No, listen. Let me just say this. No, no, no. I, let me let me stop you right there. Let me stop you. Well, then finish. I will listen. On your floor, is David. Uh, please. Good. Are items that if you're building a home and you put in escrow. Because the engineer has to review your plans, they get paid through the escrow that's put up by the person or the property owner or the corporation that's paying the bill. So I'm confused as to why we're not going to pay them when they did the work. You might not be happy with them because some people in the audience aren't happy with them because of the park or whatever else issue it is, but I, my point being is that, and to maybe put you on the spot a little bit, is to see if you, once you read the text, you can let us know what your answer is. But let, I, I want to make sure that we're all on the same sheet of music because we shouldn't just do things because people are telling us to do things. I think we should have knowledge of what is happening, just like we should have the knowledge of reading the bill list before it gets presented to us. And I believe I'm the only one who ever goes through the CFO with this. I want the bill list on Friday before the meeting so it doesn't get ambushed on us on a night like tonight. Oh, I so thank you. Thank I, you for yielding to me and letting me finish. And I and I thank you for um being so uh uh informative. Yes, it's uh, appreciated. Um from a very from the uh, perspective of a very foul foul fallible human being. Um but Boswell, I do see that there are some things on here uh, for Boswell on the bills list. And I do believe that we should maybe uh, uh, hold the payment back for a month until we find out what exactly is going on. There's 2-01-44905-202. Uh, Capital Projects Road Resurfacing. Um, and... There is Engineering Services General, 3-01-201-201, uh, uh, for $6,000. Um, did, you, did you have a problem with the road program? Because the road program is gone, right? They sat here and did our engineering work for the months that they were here. So I'm trying to understand, besides, like I said. Well, then tell me, a Councilman, could you tell me what the uh, second one that I brought up was? The Boswell uh, Engineering Incorporated, what is it? Uh, engineering Services. What exactly are those? So page uh, three. Yeah, that says the November Engineering Services. For them to attend the meetings here to review any plans that came before, any questions that the administrator had of them, for them to go out with, with the building inspector 
when there was issues like the neighbor behind my house who didn't connect their storm, their uh, gutters into the seepage pit. So those are the things that they've done. I saw no reports on smoke testing. I saw no reports on cameras. I saw no reports uh, as I requested of an analysis of all the sewage that we're throwing down to uh, Bergen uh, County Utilities Authority. I saw nothing, nothing whatsoever. So, so my question to you is, do you have a problem with the road flow? Yes, I do have a prob problem with the road program because I have not, the council has not been, uh, been kept apprised of exactly what roads are going to be paved and when. And sure. They're already done. Bernie sat here two months ago and told us that the punishment is almost complete. Just because he didn't give us a thing, he worked with the building inspector. But well, I think more information is wanted to. I have. You know, you just don't want to pay. So well, on. it's okay. We don't pay them for a month. That's fine. So, uh, first of all, I will say that we are still awaiting the uh, bid specifications. We are still awaiting. We did not fire anybody. We did not fire anybody. We did not fire anybody. We, those, Boswell. As our engineer for anything, except maybe what I might do tonight, because I've raised the issue about how Boswell firing Boswell is going to cost us potentially no, hundreds of thousands of dollars. No, that's fine. Can we can we can we let our borough attorney weigh in, please? <laughs> listen, listen, it's I'm not gonna get in the middle of the political debate that they they had a contract. The contract was not renewed. We can debate whether or not they were fired or whether they were not reappointed. You know, I, I mean, you guys can debate that back and forth. But, I, you know. but can I ask, uh, Mr. Mensch, they do? It's, it's, uh, no. oh, okay, not the public portion at this time. Okay, so, so, okay. so they are under contract to complete the park's uh, bid specs. Uh, and that... They are under contract to complete the bid specs. Okay, we're going to talk about the, our bill payment. Uh, just uh... I have no idea if there's, uh, you know, something specific with parks. I, you know, maybe it's there, maybe it's not. I don't know. Contract and city guy, all all agreements with well, professionals and it's well, city well, must have well, maybe. That's a good. <laughs> So, no, no, seriousness, right? No, no, yeah, that's it. Listen, lawyers, I, I can give maybe answers all day long. All right. In all seriousness, you have, you know, you appoint a borough engineer every year. You appoint a borough engineer, you might appoint a, a special conflict engineer, you might appoint an alternate engineer. Those appointments die at the end of the year unless they're reappointed. It's the same thing, it's with almost any other professionals. That doesn't mean that you don't have a specific contract elsewhere. So if you went out to bid on a project and you specifically hired, you know, a, a particular engineer to do a specific task, that may not die at the end of the year. If you have a specific contract that says you are hired to do this and you're going to do it to completion. So, so that's why I say maybe it depends. Just like you see in here, Boswell has, you know, seven different entries because they have seven different kind of potential areas where they're getting paid. So they are not the borough engineer moving forward uh, on the general stuff. If there's an issue with a uh, gutter not being connected, you know, Oswell is not the one who's going to go handle the gutter. It's going to be Neglia or, or uh, the other uh, things, Neglia, but whatever the other folks were. If they were specifically hired to do parks, I haven't seen that particular contract, so I can't tell you specifically what it says. But if the resolution says you're hired to do parks, and there's a contract that says you're hired to do parks, that is still a contract that they are obligated to perform. So contract, so I don't know where council. Let's make the council but, but, regardless. But, it all kind of the same. 
So from what I gather, it's right. voting on the payment bills minus the two that... No. 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 I no or what? Okay. No. Uh, yes, I do, actually. I want to make sure that I caught all of the Boswell. So, okay, I didn't so say that the... yet. I did not say that okay. yet. So, to sign out, it's a motion right. to... Uh, Winfield, to right here. It's the bill list, right minus the, the Boswell. So, in, in voices. so I see here C-0422-013. It's on the page, page seven. So uh, I would say let's hold that one back. That's 9,000. Ms. Luciano, I will take your suggestion under advisement uh, for the roads, although I'm, I have trepidations about it. Uh, so um, let me just see if there's anything else. Okay. I, you know what? It's it's being. Just want to be careful and cautious and make sure that the professionals that we hire are doing the job that we hired them for. Um, there is a. Um, there is a tendency of, uh, how can I put it? The only way I can put it is being uh, not wanting to, I will be kind, not wanting to follow through and check and really make sure that customers are satisfied because we are actually acting as the customers here. And if we have, if we feel that someone has done an outstanding job as I think we can maybe all agree that uh, tech media did an outstanding job with the with the with the um, audio in here and in and the video, they constantly rechecked and checked and made sure that we were satisfied. I think that every professional who check and recheck, especially if we're paying them big money, even if we're paying them small money, it's just customer satisfaction. I've seen many boroughs uh, that have been uh, that have not been satisfied, where they have hired so-called professionals to complete projects, and these projects have been far less than successful. And then they go away and they get their checks, and it's almost like a pig at the trough. They go in, they feed, and then they run away. I think Englewood Cliffs deserves better. I think the people in town work hard, they pay taxes, and it is up to this council to make sure that every single dime is spent uh, in the, uh, in, with, uh, with thought and with follow-up to make sure that our, uh, our customers, our, what we're, the people that we're serving, are getting what they deserve. If that goes for getting the highest interest rates on our bank deposits, if that goes for... Uh, hiring out someone to clean up the park, if that hire, uh, goes for anything, any service, everything should be okay. checked okay. and rechecked, and we need okay. to make sure that we have top quality. Okay, David Gregorio, we are in the middle of a uh, you know, roll call. A long standing engineering firm. Are there Bid specifications. Where are their bid specifications? Where's the Where's the smoke testing? Where's the cameras? Where's the cameras? Nothing. I haven't seen anything. Please, please stop it. Sorry. We are in the middle of a you know, roll call. Please okay. finish about roll call first, okay? Please. We did all. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 
The motion is to approve the bill list minus Boswell in the Oh, let, you know what? I'll modify that. My, minus, let them get the money for the work that they supposedly did, but um, minus the park part of it, please. Okay, we don't pay that. Everything else we can pay, but. Okay. Member Simon, you will know. Okay. Member Luciano? Oh. Member Di Gregorio? Yes. Member Begats? Uh, yeah, abstain. Member Liang? Abstain. Two, two, one, nine. Uh, two yes. no, I'm sorry, it was two, it was two. Two yes. Two, two yes. No, I'm sorry, one yes, two no's, and two abstain. That sounds okay. like that, that fails. fails. So now. Okay, then you don't worry about it. Just okay. Give me one moment, let me get it. <laughs> okay. I'm not in bandages. Second was Simon? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Member Simon? Repeat what we're voting on again. Accept the bill. Accept the bill. Yes. Member Luciano? Aye. Member Di Gregorio? Yes. Member Begats? Abstain. Member Liang? Abstain. Yes, right. Okay. Motion passed. Okay. Well, good. I thought it was the right way. Okay. Did you have people agree with this? The fact is, Mr. Leciano, if I may uh, be okay. recognized. Okay, let's move on. Item number three, appointment number for the professional. Okay, I already uh, emailed to you this afternoon. I'm going to read one more time. Uh, this is not much change, but uh, later on, we're going to, especially, uh, we're going to adapt the resolution for the Boswell. So I'm going to repeat one more time. Uh, appointment in municipal. Planner, of a consultant, appointment of a conflict uh, of a municipal planner, same as last year, Harbor consultant, uh, 20-51 appointment of municipal owner, same as last year, uh, Mr. Steve Wilkes, Wilkes. Yeah, Wilkes and the company, and the uh, appointment of joining office, J.P. Lee, Appraisal service tabling, we're still looking for the good company. Uh, 20-54, financial advice, North NW Financial Group, affordable housing planner, public consultant, same as last year, and uh, affordable housing financial advice, also NW Financial Group. But this one is exactly the same as last year. And I emailed it to you. Uh, yeah, joining, yes, JP Lee. And uh, yes, he has, uh, he is uh, very excellent. He did a uh, long time in our employee and uh, he worked for our building department. So that's why we picked it up. Probably there on, on there. Yes. Yeah, he has a uh, license joining office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a very, you know, the reasonable guy, and he knows our town very well. Already more than six years experience with our town. Okay, so uh, building inspector is not. It's not. It's not in there. He, where is it? It's not. He was just, uh, we, we already did it. When you replace the zoning officer, the, the building inspector is going to be out the door too. Just to let you know, I mean, you okay. know about it. Okay, okay. I'm just giving you a heads up. Okay, okay, gotcha, okay. I, I want to write something here. Okay. I need a motion to vote, you said? Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. And what, anyone second? Second. Who's second? For the appointments, he just made. Yeah. Can I, can I, is it possible to pull out? Uh, this one is pull out in detail. No. 4452? Why not? JP, right? They want to vote. No, second. They want to vote. Oh, you want to vote separately this one? That's what they're asking. Oh, okay. Then you know, we have to also this one. Yeah. Oh, no, no. 
Why? 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 Any reason? As a zoning officer, we're going to lose our building in this back. They want to that's, that's going to present a problem with the town. It may be what they want to do. Lord, this is the Lord. This is the Lord. You have to be my colleague. You know, it's going to come here and work. You know, but I'm not decisions. Because I know that this guy, once you change the one, the person that's in there, you're going to lose your building inspector. We, we, went you're fine with that. That. we went through this last year. And if you're fine with that, move on. But we're respectfully asking that we change just everything else that's from last year is fine. Uh, take the zoning officer out separately. And if you have your vote, do it. I'm just putting it on record that if you do it, be you're going to lose. Then you're going to be looking for a building inspector. That's all. How do we know that? Because we went, we went through last year, David. We tried to do it. Do yes. it there. What do, why are they both, uh, or do they come, do they come as a package? Evidently. But if you're not worried about it, you have to vote, do it. I'm just asking. I'm you're just asking, asking for this to be removed. 24, 2452. Oh, okay, let's move on. Okay, move on. Okay, I, I understand. Okay, okay, then we're going to table this one, okay? Table this. No, no, not the one. Let me see, so PT2. Pity to the table because I, I want to honor your your judge you know, to appear and I want to you know, find out the law, okay? I don't want to make a trouble, okay? Okay. So the table in 52. Right. Okay. Uh, I, I send it to you. You sent me the information, but I don't have the number that you're saying 2452. I, I, I have it on you. That's all I'm saying. Okay. My okay. uh, so the appointments of everything except for the zoning officer. You yeah. have a motion, you need a second. Mem I have a second. second. I begin. Okay, member Simon, yes okay. to all except for 2452. Well, that's that's equal now. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Member Luciano, uh, member Di Gregorio, um, I, I got uh sidetracked. Yeah. Right so all the appointments that were made, the, the zoning officer was tabled. Member Di Gregorio? Let me just under I have to understand this before I vote one way or another. It's it's the it's the planners, it's the planner, the auditor, the financial advisor, the affordable housing planner, and the affordable housing financial advisor. That's the only thing it's being voted on right now. And the auditor, you just said the auditor, correct? Right? The auditor is I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Appraisal services was uh there's no nomination yet, but the auditor is is there, yes. Move the zoning. Move the zoning. Yeah, Everything but this one. We're voting. It's it's harbor financial. I mean, I'm sorry, harbor consultants for the planner, harbor consultants for the conflict, Wilkowitz for the auditor. NW Financial for the financial advisor, Arbor Consultants for the housing affordable housing planner, and NW Financial for the housing finance the ho affordable housing financial advisor. That is what is being voted on right now. Yes. Member Begets. Yes. Member Liang. Yes. And he passes. Okay, motion passed. Okay. Uh, and what about the, this? Right? This one is a resolution. Oh yes. So so yes. So, Why don't yes, you yes, we can, um, uh, the mayor is asking me about, uh, you should have a resolution 20, 24, 64. It's later on, but the mayor had, since we're talking about appointments, this is the resolution awarding a professional services contract to Boswell Engineering. Uh, this was, uh, I think everyone has seen this or is aware of it, um, but this would be to, to clearly retain Boswell for the, for the uh, specific purposes of the Michaels Group project through the loan closing and obtaining building permits. Chaffee through the site plan review application and building permits alongside Neglia Group, which will serve as the lead for the Chaffee project, and then assisting with the transition of 800 Sylvan Matters currently under review by Boswell from Boswell to Neglia Group, with Neglia Group being responsible for the work regarding the sewer pipes and all new matters handled by Neglia, except as requested by Neglia to provide background information. The idea here, um, you know, just as I think everyone's aware, the idea here is that Boswell has been involved with some of the affordable housing matters, which as everyone knows is under litigation. 
it is uh, my opinion, I think, as I expressed previously, and I would say to some degree right now, if we need to have further discussion, we'd have to do it in closed session, that um, uh, doing this provides us with consistency so that we can make sure that we're moving forward consistent with court orders and litigation, but also recognizes that it is the intent of the majority of the governing body at the moment to ultimately move into another direction towards Neglia, but we can't just tell Boswell to stop working pens down or whatever engineers use um, because that would potentially cause delays that would hurt us on the affordable housing matters that we have to keep moving. So that's what uh, this resolution does. Okay, motion. And you have motion to? Motion. Adapt. Okay, second. What is for? For the whole Regular. Second. Okay, second. Okay, roll call, please. Roll call, please. Discussion. No discussion. Okay, go ahead. So, uh, I'd just like to say thank you for uh, seeing the greener pastures on the other side of the hill because I think that not moving in this direction and stalling our affordable housing would cost us hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars in delaying this project. And as we know, we're on the diet space. Okay, go ahead. Oh. Yeah, we motion. Mm -hmm. So, no, no baby. We need to call it motion. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying. I'm actually saying thank you. Okay, local, please. Local, please. Thank you for seeing the light and doing the right in your eyes. Uh, okay, please. Uh, please stop it. Okay, go ahead. That's, that's Simon? Oh, uh, uh, she Yes. Roll, roll. Member Simon? Yes. Member Luciano? Member Di Gregorio? Yes. Member Begets? Yes. Member Liang? Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, number 14, uh, regarding about the, all the resolutions, what about this? Is item by item or how, how we can do that? It's it's the you can do you can do it by consent with an all in favor if everyone is in favor of resolutions twenty four fifty seven through twenty four sixty three if there's not a desire to do a consent then we'd have to do them individually or some other. Well, request that we pull out sixty one sixty two sixty three vote on them as two groups unless other people want to vote on them individually I say vote on fifty seven fifty eight fifty nine and sixty and. Uh, which I'm not going to vote for, and 61, 62, 63 as um, separate, separate one that I will vote for. Which one you don't vote? Sorry. Oh, okay, would you repeat one more time, please? You are so As early as two weeks with Hosteto XR, Kate can stay in the It's just one. Who wants to vote? Yeah, he's going to vote. He's going to vote for you. Okay, well, why don't you read that? Okay. All right. Okay. So, so we are looking for a motion to approve 2457, 2458, 2459, and 2460. Do we have a motion on those four items? No. I want to separate out 60, please. All right. All right. We'll do it this way. 2457, 2458, 2459. 60. No, David's. It's all separated in my vote block. Did you all right. to do that? It, it doesn't matter. Right, it just like whatever's going to okay. make it consistent. Mr. Munch. Yes. Can you just answer something for me? Yes. Of interest for late payment on taxes. Yes. How is that determined? I don't know. Uh, you do you have a chance to read my email this afternoon? What? What other towns are doing? I guess the follow up on that, Mr. Mayor. I know there was one where we wanted to change it to a variable rate, and then there was concern about the tax assessor and um the um. Oh, let's say tax assessor, and I believe even maybe Mr. Uh, maybe JP had said that I think that there's a concern. So I'm, I'm the only question I have: Did you go with the original plan that you wanted with the variable rate, or is this motion going back? Mm -hmm. yeah. So just the picture. Yeah. The original. Thank you. That's right. original. Yes. <laughs> 
I'm just going to read it out. Yeah. Okay. We'll go back to the original way it was on the suggested by our professionals mm -hmm. because doing it as a variable rate makes it bang you know impossible. But does it don't you have to go and every time you, you have to change it, you have to go through this whole process. Right, it's not doing it. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I understood. I have uh, 2457 to designating 20, 2024 bank depositories. So can I do it? Laura's just going to read them all separately because we're wasting more time just trying to figure out what's in and out than just doing it that way. So I guess I need a motion. Oh, okay. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, okay. Bank depository, I already mentioned. Hello. Okay. I'm so sorry. Table. Bank depository should be. Tabled because uh, okay. tabled. because that is the uh, last month we talk about it. we will get the more interest rate to pay the bank we're gonna put on over there. Also we tabling about the risk management company also we're gonna to get a separate pro proposal and uh, their uh, suggestion we're gonna to do that maybe yeah. someday next week or maybe the other uh, day, I'm gonna I'm gonna to do that. But uh, right now we don't have any information. So risk management and the bank depository have to be tabled. Not presented. Okay. Not tabled, but you're not presented. Yeah, okay. um, so, Mr. Mayor. Yes. I just I do notice on the resolution that there is uh, Connect One Bank, TD North Bank. Um, there's uh, Hope Bank. Um, no, 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 Morgan. No, no, hope and hope bank. Yeah, it, it's not it, it, that this resolution is not going to be the mayor is not asking for it to be voted on. There's okay. this was this was the same, this was the same, I think it was the same banks as last year. Yes. So the banks that are listed here are the ones that were approved last year. The mayor wants to change it, but he's not ready to present okay. what he wants to change. So we're not doing the bank depositories tonight. Good, correct. Okay. correct. Good. Repository. I believe that's what our CFO said at the last meeting. Even if we go on to change it later, I believe that's what you possibly implied, and I may be incorrect, but I believe that. But my question is, is do we not need to know? Because I believe someone said we need to have it before the end of the month, and I'm not looking for Here. a special meeting the first month that we know. Okay. Hey. Don't we need a bank depository so, made tonight? Our so it's already in so, some of those banks. Like a good lawyer, I'm going to say yes and no. <laughs> um, so, so you should, if you, and if you pass something tonight, you could amend it in the future. If you don't pass it tonight, your money's already in a bank. It's, you can't move it to a bank that's not on the list. So from a practical standpoint, if you do this in February, uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, I mean, from a practical standpoint, nothing is going to happen that Matt, like your money, you don't lose your money because you don't pass this. Uh, you're limited to what's here uh, already. You can't move it to new banks. Uh, the issue, the more significant issue is the temporary budget. That's the one that your the CFO well, was here last that. time, no. where if you you have a month where you can, that, you can so manage yeah. it, if you don't pass the temporary budget by the end of the month, that's when we start having problems making paychecks. Thank you for that so. clarification. But I would implore, ladies and gentlemen, we vote on the depositories tonight. We can make, if you guys find someone else you want to add, if we find some, I don't mean it to, I'm not trying to say you guys, us guys, if we find someone that we want to move it to that could possibly do better for us, let's move on it next month. But I think it behooves us as a government body to not look foolish to the residents of this town by not at least having the money that's in the bank already for that bank at the very least to be approved. We can change it. But I would say, please don't table it. Let's move on it. It's not going to hurt us. We can change it with a resolution next month. Thank you. Isn't that your motion? My motion is to accept it. As is. As is. Uh, With the cap. Yeah. It's a it really is. Yeah. Don't need to. Don't need to. Don't need to. Don't need to. Don't need 
you can now you just got to figure out what our caps is in the next right. bank. It's appropriate that you didn't prevent it, right. but you know, who's responsible for that? Right. 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 Oh, oh, risk management. This has nothing to do with risk management. No. This has nothing to do with risk management. This is simply where you want to go. You can add things later. But I believe, Mr. Mayor, there's a motive. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. I I accept your motion and uh, we, we're gonna to later on we can amend it. Okay. Any discussion about this motion? Anyone? Uh, Member Simon? Yes. Member Luciano? Aye. Member Di Gregorio? If we can change it and add and take away banks, yeah, yes. we have yes. that flexibility, then I will concur and vote yes. Member Begats? Yes. Member Liang. Yes. He passes. Okay. 2458 approval of the 2024 temp budget. Second. Second. Okay. I didn't hear. No, you did a first. You did motion. Motion and anyone second? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so we start with that. Mr. Okay. Liang Ji did it. Yeah, we did it. Okay, roll call, please. Discussion. Any discussion? Oh, discussion? discussion. Oh, oh. No, 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 All right, Member Simon. Come on, man. What are you sitting there for? Member Simon? No. Member Luciano? No. Member Di Gregorio? Approve the 2024 temporary budget? Yes. yes. Member Begats? Yes. Member Liang? Yes. Any passes. 2459 fixed rate of interest for the late payment of taxes. Yes. What can I accept? Second. Discussion? Second. Yeah, we discussed. We already discussed. Member Simon? Yes. Oh. Member Luciano? Aye. Uh, Member Di Gregorio? Yes. Member Begats? Yes. Member Liang? Yes. Any passes? 2460, the authorization of the cash management plan. A motion to table. Anyone second? Second. Okay, one moment. Any? Member Simon? Yes. Member Luciano? No. Member Di Gregorio? Yes. Member Begats? Yes. Member Liang? Yes. Passes. 2461. 2461. Okay. Can we vote? Second. 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 Member Simon? Yes. Member Luciano? Yes. Member Begats? Member Liang. Yes. 2462, I make a motion to accept. Second. Member Simon? Yes. Member Luciano? Aye. Member Di Gregorio? Yes. Member Begats? Yes. Member Liang? Yes. 2463, Madam Clerk, I make a motion to accept the uh, Second. <laughs> Member Simon? Yes. Member Luciano? Aye. Member Di Gregorio? Yes. Member Begats? Yes. Member Liang. Yes. Um, actually, I know that Ms. Gaddafi was supposed to come to ICE. Do we have anything to close session? I know you're talking, and I apologize. Okay. I'm glad to get out of here. I make a motion. No, no, just a second. I'm sorry. I didn't finish about it. The most important thing is uh, we forgot about the work. Uh, or how can I explain it? Work Malajari. Okay. Uh, this one. Uh, Okay, I'm going to, this one is, uh, I think it's Donald Burke. Donald Burke. Okay. Yeah. This one is, uh, I, I wanted that's the, to. That's the, the Burke and Burke law firm, this is the one that was tabled at the last meeting. Malgeri was approved mayor, right. uh, oh, 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 but Burke different firm. Oh, 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 Burke, Burke, Burke was tabled. Uh, this one is, I got the uh, professional advice and uh, I'm not going to, you know, accept uh, this company at this moment. We're going to look at it. So, you know, I'm going to get rid of it, this one. Okay. So, Burke is off. So, I need to, yeah. I need to remove Burke. Yeah. Okay. Maybe later on I can add on. Yeah. But, uh, you know, anyway, at this moment, I don't want it about. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so whatever you think. <laughs> Any 
Member Simon? Yes. Member Luciano? Aye. Member Di Gregorio? No. Member Begats? No. Member Liang? No. Okay. Can I make another motion? No, just kidding. There's no reason. I don't have anything for closed session. So unless anybody has anything for me for closed session, I don't have anything. Our council, my fellow council members, that make this close? No. I make a motion to uh, adjourn. Okay. Okay. Bye. Wow. Bye. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Okay.